Just wanted to touch on to a couple of things about the uh, CR10 S5, the 500mm build machine. First was in the last video I didn't know whether it was an optical or a mechanical switch on the filament sensor. It is mechanical, it's just a regular little snap action switch like is used on all the uh, end stops. So eventually the filament is going to wear that out. But then again it is just a cheap little switch so I guess if it wears it out you just replace it. Uh, the other issue is with what they call the auto bed leveling which is really assisted bed leveling and here we are the problem is that the uh, firmware in the box thinks that the build size of this plate is is the regular CR10 300 by 300 so here it is in the first position where you would slip your piece of paper under and adjust your grub screws underneath and then you'd go to next step and it moves to what it thinks is the end of the bed but it's not the end of the bed it should should have gone clear back here and it should go clear over here and it should go clear over here and then should go to the center but it's not going to because like I said it's the wrong the wrong firmware program is loaded in there it thinks it's working on the 300 millimeter bed They might even use the same one for the 400 millimeter bed, I don't know, who knows. And there's where it thinks the center of the bed is. And of course it's only off by a big magnitude. So, really the only way that you can do it, so you don't want to, if you could go into prepare, oh, let's go back uh, to control. Hmm. There we go. You could go to disable steppers, but the problem with going to disable steppers is you're going to be moving this carriage around by hand and applying pressure up and down. You might get one of the lead screws to turn, and as you know, if it turns even by the thickness of a piece of paper, you've then goofed up your, your bed level. So you need to leave the steppers engaged. You don't want to disable your steppers, and that means you need to run this thing. Let's first do an auto home so we know where we're starting. So that means you need to run this thing using the move axis control. The auto home will already have the z-axis height set right so you're good to go there. So now you could take your you could use in if you're in the 10 millimeter move area you can control the X and the Y only. That's fine. You could take the X, since this is a 500 millimeter bed, we're starting clear at one edge, we could go, we could go over, let's say, 400. Oops, I went to 430, but it'll just back up. And you could do your measurement there. Then you could go in and go to your Y. And on the Y, you could go 400. That would get in that back corner and you could do the back corner. So you get the idea. You can just go ahead and use these, you know, to get your bed level without disabling the steppers. Because if you disable the steppers, there's a very good chance you're gonna, you're gonna get your Z off on one end or the other, just because you're manhandling the head. Would be nice if they just put in the correct firmware. <laughs>